Eine I Love Shoyo Card. Ooh, oh, das ist ein 16, 16-jähriger. Juhu. Hi guys. So today I have my May Book Haul slash an Amazon and book related and non book related unboxing for you. The first book that is a manga I want to show you I actually got in April and just forgot to show you guys so I will show it to you now and that is the third volume in the Midnight Devil manga series and if you have been watching my videos from the beginning you know that I'm kind of obsessed with this manga series that I've done a review of the prequel and the first book in this manga series and that I really like it so I won't tell you what this uh, particular manga is about because I don't want to spoil you and I want you to read the manga so go read it and then we can discuss about it the second book I have I also already read and also already <laughs> read in April but I only got this physical copy now and that is to Live or To Die from Larissa Wolf. This is the first novella in the Yanta Chronicles. We already have Katerina out and this is just a little novella in between the first and the second book. And I can't tell you what this is about because I would spoil you and I don't want to spoil you because it's just a really big surprise at the beginning of this. I will talk a bit more about this book in another video. The next book I got is The Castilian Heritage and I only got this book today because I was at my local bookstore Talia and I saw this little baby I've been wanting to, to buy for quite a while now because I like uh, the books from Ulrike Schweikart as you may know and when I really want to have this book for a while now and didn't really get to it because I wanted to buy it off of the uh, side of Avel where it was like $10 and never really got to buy from Avel again since so when I saw this for $6.99 and this hardback normally costs like 20 euros I just had to buy it and I will probably get to it really soon. This book is about a Munich journalist who finds this story written by La, La Caminata and she kind of feels really drawn to the words and to the story of the girl. This girl lived in Castilia in the 1500s and our protagonist kind of gets to Castilia to follow her lead, to follow if she's a real person, what happened to her. I was really intrigued when I first read it and I really like Ulrike Schweikart's books and she can write just so beautiful in the historic genre and in the fantasy genre but she makes it really interesting, she has really good research so I just bought it because it was cheap and I wanted to have it. Then the book I went to Talia for and that is The Red Queen by Victoria Aviat. You may already know this book, it's out in the States since February and I've been wanting to read this book since then but it only came out like this week here in Germany. It came out on the 28th of May and yeah so I got this book because it is the book circle book of June and the book circle for those of you who don't know what the book circle is it's like the same thing like book explosion in America so each month there is a book pick that everyone reads and they can discuss in the Goodreads group and at the end of the month when everybody has read the book there is a big live hangout on one of the main YouTubers channels and this is the first book I was like okay I would buy it now because normally I'm not the new release type of girl who buys the new releases like when they're released I'm mostly really late with, with that. You probably all know what this book is about. It's about Mare and she lives in a fantasy world where you are divided by blood. They're the reds, like the normal people and their blood is red and they are like the slaves and have to take care of everything and the ones with the silver blood are the ones with special magic abilities who are the royalty and that has been like forever and then suddenly Mare realizes that she has powers herself so the silvers make her seem like a long lost relative and she gets engaged with one, uh, with one of the princes and yeah she has to find her way in living now and I've heard that this book is 
I've heard really good things about this book. I've heard actually pretty bad things that it's kind of repetitive and stuff like that, but it also has a really big plot twist as I've heard and yeah, I'm really interested to read it. So I will see how I like this book and the experience in the book circle group. Those were all of the books I bought by myself and who were not in my Amazon box. So now I will open this thing for you and look with you inside. Obviously I know what it is inside because I bought it just recently. And there are not only books in there, I've bought some mangas and some DVDs and yeah, you will see what it is about. But I wanted to show you and had a box where a big box and I thought why not do an unboxing for you. That's what it looks like from the inside with the paper and that's what it looks like when you look inside. And the first thing I have here is a DVD and that is Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind and this is a Studio Ghibli movie from Hayao Miyazaki. I have some Hayao Miyazaki films already and been wanting to watch this for quite a while now so I thought why not buy it so I did. So this is about Nausicaa who lives in a world that is past a war and in this war the world was kind of destroyed and now the, there's a mushroom forest everywhere and yeah that's everything I read about this and I don't want to spoil myself too much so I guess there's a big adventure coming and she has to find a way to make her living there. And if you want me to make a review or show you my other um, Studio Ghibli slash Hayao Miyazaki movies then let me know in the comments below. The second thing I got with is another manga and this is 31 I Dream by Arina Tanemura and this is her new manga series. I've read a short story manga by her and I've read the first two volumes in the Shinji Jumei Cross manga series but haven't continued with that because I'm not like the biggest fan of those massive manga series so I never continued it. Uh, this is about the 30, 31 year old Chicago and she is at her big high school reunion and kind of wants to get the guy she always had a thing for and who was really, was really popular back then, but then someone outs her to be a virgin, which probably she is, and so nobody wants to do anything with her. And then a friend of her gives her a magical medicine, drug, I don't know, and she becomes her 15-year-old self again and gets a model contract or a singing contract and yeah, so she kind of gets to live her youth again and I was really interested in this manga and I am thrilled to see where it continues and it has a shoyo card in it, whatever this is. Next thing I got is another DVD and that is The Tales of Earthsea. This is also a Studio Ghibli movie but not a Hayao Miyazaki movie, it's the first movie, the debut movie from his son Goyo Miyazaki and this DVD, this this movie I've been wanting to watch for like forever now. I've seen this movie made manga when it came, when the movie came out like way way back, I guess in 2006, 2007 about that. I always wanted to read it because there were dragons, magical world, seem pretty cool so that's basically all I know about this and I don't want to know anymore and yeah I guess I will watch this movie like when I'm done filming we will see about that then I have another book for you and this is a book that isn't out in English it's only out in Spanish and German and this is the way to El Andalus and this is like a little fairy tale. It's really really short. It's only 120 pages long and it deals with Yusuf and alchemy and is set in El Andalus. I've seen this book in the bookshelf tour from Sarah Bow and I really liked how this book looks. It's really pretty and just with this oriental style and she highly appraised it and I was like, oh, it looks good, I want to have it, so I bought it and I probably will read this like 
in one sitting because it has only 120 pages so actually it's pretty it was pretty expensive but you get the ebook also then the third and last CVD this is the secret word of Arietti by Hiromasa Yonebayashi the idea and the screenplay are from Hayao Miyazaki and I've already watched this movie and I really really love it. That's why I got it in this uh, Studio Ghibli Collector's Edition, which is really pretty. I've got two DVDs in here and there are some extras on this DVD. I have uh, Princess Mononoke also in the Studio Ghibli Collector's Edition and nothing else. So I thought maybe I could get another Collector's Edition, just that Princess Mononoke isn't so lonely. And this movie is about Ariati, who is like um, a really 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 small person she's like only 10 centimeters tall and she lives with her parents in a house under a human's house and they make their living by, by borrowing so they always take just teeny tiny bits of our belongings like a cube of sugar or one or two tissues so nobody notices that something is missing and <clears throat> Yeah, then she meets this guy Sho and the rules the borrowers have is that they can't be seen by a human being because when they are seen they have to move. And I really really like this movie, it was just so great and the music was just amazing. That's why I also got the soundtrack to this, which is sung by a French singer and harpist Cecile Corbel and it's just a really really beautiful soundtrack and I already <laughs> Uh, unbox that before this video because I couldn't wait for this to come and I've been listening to the soundtrack like since I got it like all the time because it's just so beautiful and so amazing and I really enjoyed that. If you want to get an idea of the soundtrack just watch the German trailer because there is the is Arietti song in German also sung by Cecile Corbel. Just give this movie a chance it's just really like one of the best movies I've watched this year. <laughs> then, a wonder, uh, the fourth volume in the Midnight Devil manga series by Haruki Miura. And this came out this month and I need to have it because I want to read it. And yeah, same thing with like with the third. I really enjoy this and it's just so pretty. Just look at this beautiful picture of Cha and Rin and I just love this manga series. It's just really great. So highly recommend this. So and we're already at the last book which is Rune and Rising by Lee Bardugo, the last book in the Grisha trilogy. So I read the second book obviously and I really enjoyed the second book and wanted to know how the story ends so I bought the third book and I will read it really soon. So guys that was it for my unboxing slash book haul of May video. You know all the books I got in May and those are quite a lot. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you want to see more and how many books did you buy this month? Did you buy anything else? Did you buy any DVDs? How do you like movies that are animated that are from Japan, that are from Stu Studio Ghibli? Do you like them? Have you watched them? And if you have watched a film from Studio Ghibli or some, which is your favorite and why? Goodbye guys!